children in this video session you're going to learn about the active and passive voice in english grammar for sentences in the active voice the subject performs the action and in the passive voice the subject receives the action the two grammatical voices are active voice and passive voice active voice means that a sentence has a subject that acts upon its verb passive voice means that a subject is a recipient of a verb's action actually children active voice and passive voice sentences are simply two different ways of saying the same thing in the same tense when the subject of a sentence performs the act verb's action we say that the sentence is in the active voice sentences in the active voice have a strong direct and clear tone here are some short straightforward examples of active voice a sentence is in the passive voice on the other hand when the subject is acted on by the verb the passive voice is always constructed with a conjugated form of to be plus the verb's past participle doing this usually generates a preposition as well that is the preposition by 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 is generated here so by should be there in the passive voice that sounds much more complicated than it is passive voice is actually quite easy to detect for these examples of passive voice we will transform the three active sentences above to illustrate the difference the examples of active voice are monkeys adore bananas the second sentence the cashier counted the money third sentence the dog chased the squirrel all three sentences have a basic active voice construction that is subject verb and object in the first sentence the subject is the monkey monkeys adore bananas so monkeys is the subject adore is the verb and bananas is the object the second sentence the cashier is the subject counted is the action or verb the money is the object third sentence the dog is the subject chased what is the dog doing here chasing chased chased is the action done by the dog so chased is the verb the squirrel is the object all three sentences have a basic active voice construction that is subject verb and object in the first sentence the subject is the monkey and the action performed by monkeys is adore the word is adore adore word is the action or the verb and bananas are the object bananas is the object here look at the first sentence in the active voice the first sentence is monkeys adore bananas so monkeys this word that is monkeys word is the subject adore is the verb bananas is the sub object now bring this bananas that is object first when you begin the passive voice sentence so bananas are adored now tell me children why you have selected this uh, b verb are here so i'll explain are is selected because adore adore word is in present tense and for present tense we always use the be verbs is or are since bananas this word is in plural so we are selecting are is is always used after the singular nouns now here bananas is in plural form so we have to write are after bananas because bananas is in plural form so bananas are adored i told you that a preposition is generated in the passive voice which preposition do you remember children the preposition by 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 
so bananas are adored by by is a preposition you have to write in the passive voice by monkeys so monkeys is the last word to be written in the passive voice so again i repeat bananas are adored by monkeys now look at the second sentence the cashier counted the money here the cashier is the subject and what is the action done by him the action done by him is counted counted is a verb and counted this word is in past tense so we have to select the be verb either was or were it depends upon the object okay about the upon the nouns to be written if the noun is in plural form we have to write were after the noun if the noun is in singular form then we have to use was after the noun now here the cashier counted the money the money is in singular form so was or were out of these two you have to select any one so since the money is in singular form we have to write was after the money because the money is in singular form so the money was counted counted is the past participle word okay always remember children that in passive voice we have to use the past participle form of the verb that is the third form of the verb so the money was counted again the preposition by should be written there the money was counted by by whom by the cashier by the cashier the sentence in passive voice will have to be written in this way that is the money was counted by the cashier now look at the third sentence the squirrel was chased by the dog so this is in passive voice in active voice you have the sentence in this way the dog chased the squirrel the dog is the subject chased what did the dog do chased chased is the verb it is in past tense the squirrel the squirrel is the object now bring the object first when you write the passive voice so what is the object here the squirrel so you'll begin the passive voice with the object that is the squirrel the squirrel was chased because the squirrel is in singular form so again you are using was here for singular noun that is after singular noun the squirrel was and the past participle word is chased chase chased chased so the third form is chased that is the past participle word so the squirrel was chased again by by is a preposition important word in the passive voice by whom by the dog so the sentence in passive voice is the squirrel was chased by the dog did you all understand children let's take a closer look at the first pair of sentences monkeys adore bananas and bananas are adored by monkeys the active sentence consists of monkeys monkeys is the subject plus adore adore is the verb plus bananas the object the passive sentence consists of bananas bananas is the object and are adored are adored is a form of to be that is be verb plus the past participle adored plus by by is a preposition which is a compulsory word in the passive voice plus monkeys the subject to make a sentence passive this word by is a compulsory word that is preposition by is a compulsory word in fact all three of the transformed sentences above required the preposition by 
to convert it into a passive voice. The first pair of sentences is in simple present tense. Now let us look at the second pair of sentences. These sentences are in past tense. The sentences are the cashier counted the money and the money was counted by the cashier. Here this sentence is in past tense because counted, counted is the main verb which is in past tense. So for past tense we use the be verbs like was and were. Now let us convert the active sentence into a passive sentence. The sentence is the cashier counted the money. The cashier is the subject, counted is the verb and the money is the object. Now when we convert this passive into passive sentence, it gets converted like this. The money was counted. Was is used because counted in the active voice is in past tense. So was counted by whom? By the cashier. Now let us take a closer look at the active and passive voice sentences in different tenses. Now look at the first sentence. I write a letter. So write. Write is a verb in this sentence which is in present tense. That is simple present tense. So I is the subject. Write is the verb. A letter is the object. This is a active sentence. Now if you want to convert this sentence into a passive sentence then you have to change the form. That is you have to bring the object first. So what is the object here? Object is a letter. So a letter. Now since right word is in simple present tense. So for simple present tense you must use either is or are. Now a letter is in singular form. So here you will select the word is because a letter, a letter is in singular form. So is is written here. A letter is written. Now who is the subject? I. So I word will get converted as me. So a letter is written by, by preposition. I told you already that in the passive voice, Preposition by is a compulsory word. So a letter is written by me. Look at the second sentence. I am writing a letter. Am writing is the verb here. And am is present tense. And writing, write plus ing. That is verb plus ing. So if you have Verb plus ing in any sentence, that means it is a continuous tense sentence. Now here am is there, so it is present continuous sentence. I am writing a letter. I is the subject. Am writing is the verb, that is the present continuous verb. A letter is the object. So when you convert this into... A passive sentence. The sentence becomes like this. A letter is. Why are you using is here? Because a letter is one letter. A means one. A letter is in singular form. So is is used here. A letter is being. When you have in the active sentence verb plus ing in the passive you must use this word being. B plus ing. A letter is being. Again third form of the writing or write or wrote is written. So a letter is being written by me. So I word is getting converted into me. A letter is being written by me. Now take a look at this third sentence. I wrote a letter. Here wrote is a verb which is in past tense. Past tense, I already told you that was or were must be used. Here a letter is in singular form. So we have to select the word was. A letter was written. Written is the third form of wrote. 
written by me a letter was written by me this is a passive sentence now look at the sentence i was writing a letter i was was means it is in past tense writing that is verb plus ing continuous tense so past continuous tense so this sentence is in past continuous tense i was writing a letter a letter was you will not write is because it is in past tense a letter was again writing word is there in the active voice writing means verb write plus ing so again you have to select the word being being in passive voice so a letter was being written by me if you have the words like has have had that means the sentence is in perfect tense if you have these words that is has and have that means the sentence is in present perfect tense has have both are present perfect tense words if you have the word had that means it is past perfect tense now let us take a look at this sentence i have written a letter now i have written have i told you it is present present perfect tense so i have written a letter so when you convert this into a passive voice a letter has been written by me now remember children for perfect tense sentence that is has have had if you have any one of these words in the active voice then in the passive voice you have to add been to these words that is if you have the word like has in the passive it will become has been if you have 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 been had had been the only thing you have to remember is that is for first and second person even if it is singular we are using have otherwise for all the other plural forms in the perfect tense sentence we have to use have have is used after the plural nouns whereas has is used after the singular nouns these two are that is present perfect tense words whereas had is past perfect tense word now if you see the word had in the active voice then just simply write be next to had in the passive voice for example i had written a letter this is the active voice now your passive voice sentence will be like this a letter had been written by me now look at this sentence they have written a letter a letter is a object it is in singular form so a letter has been because after they we have used have because i told you that have is used after the plurals in the perfect tense so they have they is plural so after they we have used have but when you convert the sentence into passive voice a letter has been we are using has because a letter is in singular form so remember children for singular forms that is singular nouns or objects we have to use has for plurals we have to use have that is after plurals we have to use have after singular we have to use has in the perfect tense sentence so they have written a letter when we convert the sentence into passive it becomes like this a letter has been written by them they is converted into them in the passive voice another sentence you take she has written 10 letters now see 10 letters is the object and this 10 letters is in plural form so when you convert this into passive voice 10 letters have been written by her 
So, 10 letters have been written by her. So, she has. She is in singular form. So, you are using has after she. Here, 10 letters is in plural form. So, you are using have. So, has, have, both are present perfect tense words. Let us take a look at the simple future tense sentences. I will write a letter. Here, will is a future tense word. So, this is in active voice. This sentence is in active voice. When you convert this into passive voice, you bring the object first. A letter will be written by me. So, when you have the future tense words or models, models like must, can, should, could, all these are models. So, after these model words in the passive voice, we have to add be, be. So, now look at the sentence. I will write a letter. So, this is an active voice. A letter will be written by me. This is in passive voice. Let's take a look at the sentences with the models. I must write a letter. A letter must be written by me. She can write a letter. A letter can be written by her. She must do the homework. The homework must be done by her. These are the sentences with the models. When you have models in the active sentence, you have to add be, be when you write into passive voice. Now, let us take a look at the sentences that is perfect tense sentences with models. I should have written a letter. I should have written a letter. This is an active voice. When you convert this into a passive voice sentence, it becomes like this. A letter should have been written by me. Please post this letter. So, when you look at the word please, that means it is a request made by someone. So, it is a requested sentence. So, here you are requested to post this letter. The subject you is not there in the sentence but it is understood that you are telling to you. So, you are requested to post this letter. Now, why R is used here? Because post, post is a word which is in present tense. Please post this letter. You are requested to post this letter. Another sentence, work hard. So you are saying to someone that who is that someone? It is you. To you you are saying work hard. So the sentence is in active voice. When you convert this into passive voice, it will become like this. You are advised to work hard. You are advised to work hard. This is in passive voice. Next sentence if you take light the lamp. It is asking someone to light the lamp. So light the lamp, switch off the lights. All these are something you are asking someone to do. So light the lamp. This sentence is in active voice. When you convert this into passive, it will become let the lamp be lighted. Switch off the lights. Let the lights be switched off. Close the windows. Let the windows be closed. Understood children? Now let us take a look at the sentences with the requests, advices and commands. Now let us take a look at these interrogative sentences. How will you cross the river? Now how will you cross the river? This sentence is in active voice. Now will model is here. Will word is the model given in this sentence. I have already taught you children when models are there in the active voice. Then in the passive voice you have to add the word BEB. -E so here, how will you cross the river? This is an active voice. Now when you convert this sentence into passive voice, it will become like this. How will the river be crossed by you? How will the river be crossed by you? Another sentence. When did you 
write the letter. When did you write the letter? Now here, did is the second form of do. That is do, did, done. Do and does both are present tense words and did is past tense word. Then the past participle word is done. Do, did, done. Now here, when did you write the letter? You is the subject, write is the verb, the letter is the object. Now bring the object first. That is when instead of did you are writing was in the active voice. That is sorry in the passive voice. So when was the letter written by you? So did you say? So that did is getting converted to was. When was? Now bring the object first. The letter. When was? The letter. Then third form of the verb write is written. When was the letter written by you? By is compulsory word. It is a preposition to be used in the passive voice. Now another sentence. Who teaches you physics? Who teaches you physics? This sentence is in active voice. Now when you convert this into passive, it will be like this. By whom are you taught physics? By whom are you taught physics? We are using the B verb are here because teaches it is in present tense. So are is used here. Take a look at the second sentence. What was bought by her? This is in passive voice. What was bought by her? By is the word to be written in passive. So it is in passive voice. When you convert this into active voice, it will become What did she buy? What did she buy? Now here, was is given in the question. So was is past tense word. So did is the second form of do verb. That is do, did, done. So did is in past tense. So you are writing what did she buy. If the question carries is instead of was. For example, what is bought by her? What is bought by her? So here when you change this into active voice, you have to write what does she buy because she word is a so instead of do you have to write does he she it you have to write does okay not do so what does she buy so this is active voice now look at this sentence what did she buy what did she buy this is in active voice now did word is the second form of do. That is do, did, done. Do is present tense. Did is past tense. Done is past participle word. So here when you have this past tense word did. When you write passive voice this did gets converted to was. What was bought by her. She is getting converted to her and by is a preposition to be written in passive voice. So what did she buy? What was bought by her? The meaning of both the sentences is the same. Now another example. Were the children playing hockey? Were is written here because the children is in plural form. So were is past tense word. Was is always written for singular. After singulars we write was. And after plurals we write were in the past tense sentences. So were the children playing hockey. So playing. Play is a verb. Verb plus ing is there. I have already taught you children. When verb plus ing is there in the active voice. Then in the passive voice you have to write the word being b e i n g so this sentence will get converted like this was now bring the object first object is hockey was hockey 
Now playing is getting converted to being. Was hockey being played? Now playing third form is played. Played by the children. By is the preposition to be written in the passive voice. So was hockey being played by the children? This is in passive voice. Now look at this sentence children. Whose team had won the match? Now this sentence is in active voice. I have already taught you children that when you have perfect tense words like has, have and had in the active voice then in the passive voice you have to add b-e-e-n been to these words. Okay, now here whose team had won the match? Had word is there so it is past perfect tense word. So when you convert this sentence into passive voice it will be like this. By whose team had the match been won? So this is the correct passive voice sentence. Now I will tell you how to convert the active voice sentences with command, request or advice into a passive voice. Take a look at the sentence. Please post this letter. Please is a request. So your sentence is in active voice. Please post this letter. Post is a present tense. Post word is in present tense. So you are requested to post this letter. This is in passive voice. So please post this letter is in active voice. You are requested to post this letter is in passive voice. Another sentence, work hard. When you ask somebody to work hard, it is an advice. So work hard is in active voice. Now when you change this into passive voice, you have to write like this. You are advised to work hard. You are advised to work hard. This is a passive voice sentence. 